I would like to point out, for example, about student loans. I have student loans. We gave up, um, well, I won't even get into that. The only asset my wife and I have left is our home so that we could have the honor of being public servants. We've got a lot of student loans. And I cannot imagine a worse scenario than having to come begging to an administration that we already see punishes Republican states, Republican communities, and beg the administration for a student loan because there is no one else that makes student loans besides the government. There were people that fought a revolution to avoid having the government, the king, make all the calls on who got to be educated, well-educated that is, and who got to be property owners, who got to be well-to-do. They fought a revolution so that we would have the chance, the opportunity to at least succeed ourselves without having a government pick the winners and losers. That was the last thing they wanted. Patrick Henry talked about that. Is life so dear and peace so sweet that it can be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, Almighty God. They did not want the government to tell them what they could have and not have, what they could do and not do, who could have their children educated and who couldn't. And we have grown into a government that tells everybody everything they have to do. And now, though some of us read those disastrous health care bills, others are just now finding out the things we tried to warn about. That it was not about health care, it was about the GRE, the government running everything.